مصر الذي حققته مصر هو ليس فقط للاخوان المسلمين بل هو لمصر جميعها اولا بالثوره التي بدات وثانيا بالانتخابات الديمقراطيه والتحقق الديمقراطي هناك مشوار طويل هناك شغل كثير للدكتور محمد مرسي انتقال السلطة من المجلس العسكري إلى الدولة الفعلية الانتخابات والإصلاحات أظن من أهم الأشياء التي أنضحت عنها الثورة المصرية هي إعطاء والانتخابات المصرية هي أعطاء نوع من الأمل للثورات العربية الأخرى وخصوصا الثورة المباركة في سوريا فبعدما أول أول شيء فعله الدكتور مرسي هو عدم الاعتراف بالنظام الأسدي القاتل لأولاده، وهيدي برأيي من أهم الأشياء التي عملها طبعا ومن ثم إعادة النظر يجب إعادة النظر بكامب ديفيد وفتح معمل رفح والعمل على مساعدة الإخوان في فلسطين، سؤالي لك بكل وضوح و هل تعتقد أن الإخوان المسلمين في سوريا والإخوان المسلمين في بقية البلاد العربية سوف يخطون نفس الخطى على خطى الإخوان المسلمين في مصر؟ لا، لا أعتقد أنه لكن أولاً، هناك أولاً 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 side of the opposition to the regime. They are all sons of Syria. And their blood has been shed in the thousands by both sides. Don't tell me that only the regime is killing sons of Syria. Those opponents of the regime are also killing sons of Syria. And it's just strange to me that they are ready to kill thousands, maybe tens of thousands, in Syria, but they will not lift a finger for jihad in other Arab countries which are and have always been on the path of treason towards the Palestinian people. That's just strange to me. That's all I'm saying. There is Arab countries where there is no freedom or liberty at all, which have one family rule who even give the name of their family to their country. But there is no jihad in such countries. But the jihad is in Syria, and it seems those who are fighting it are ready to spend an ocean of blood. To get their freedom. An ocean, to get their freedom. What about their freedom in the other Arab countries? Are they ready to fight there? No, they are collaborating with these other Arab countries. Every country, every country has its own uh, demographic uh, yeah, you're right. view. You're right. Every country has its own you're right. ideas. And what's happening in Syria, it's also happening in every in each world. And you no, know, every, every, no, in each, every in each no, country need to do this revolution. Well, when are you starting in Saudi Arabia? Let's start. If the, if there is when are you starting your revolution in Saudi Arabia? Let, let the people you are collaborating with Saudi Arabia against Syria. Let, let, let Don't the, tell me you are uh, ready. Start. Don't tell me you are about to. You let are ready to. You have to. Saudi Arabia Don't tell me Arab that you are ready to fight. To make, to make a okay. revolution. Let's not speak over each other. You spoke, I speak, you speak again, okay? Don't tell me that you are ready for a revolution in Saudi Arabia. You are collaborating with Saudi Arabia to make a revolution in Syria. Saudi Arabia is giving you money and weapons and jihadists. So don't tell me it's about the need for a revolution in all these countries. Because you are in league with these countries. You're too clever a man to imagine this. So what you're asking us to believe is that a revolution supported by McCain, by Lieberman, by Britain, France, America, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar is a revolution for good, for hack. Is that what you're asking me to believe? Are you asking me to believe that McCain and Lieberman are now on the side of hack? Are you asking me to believe that, that Netanyahu is now on the side of hack?
Daniel in Julan stopped for more than 40 years. Not a single drop. So why is and McCain supporting your revolution? And, and this is why is McCain supporting it? Because he wants a fight on the Jolan? Why, why did he support in Egypt? Why did we support in Libya? Why did he support in Tunisia? I, I don't care what, what does he believe. I don't care what, what they think uh, you in don't, the United States. You don't I care. Th I think about the Arab world. I think about yeah. the people are being killed okay. in the Arab world. This is yeah, No, only in Syria and the Arab world. Not only in Syria. No, no. Every, every when, when Gaza country. was being... When Gaza even, was being massacred, even in Palestine, when Gaza, even in Gaza was being massacred, and the Arabs didn't lift one finger to support them. This is why we need some revolution yeah. to start to talk oh, yeah. about Palestine first. That's why, that's why Al Saud is supporting your revolution? I don't care about them. I, no, you don't. You I say don't, you don't, don't care. care about them, but they care. own you. I don't care. About they already them. bought you. Who? They already have you in their pocket. Who? They have who? They bought you with their money. They bought you with their weapons. They bought you with their international uh, political uh, alignment. They already own you. Don't tell me same you don't thing, care about them. Don't tell me you don't care. Look, don't tell me you don't care. Look, don't tell me you don't care. They Iran. own you. Same you thing. are theirs. Iran you belong owns, to them. Iran owns Syria. This is the same. Look, we have the same. Like when did Iran people. kill the Palestinian people? When did the what did Iran the do to kill the Palestinian people? Iran are not even Arabs, but they are feeding the Palestinian people. But they have their own project in the area. Whether they have their own project or not, there is food in the bellies of the Palestinian people from Iran. How much came from Qatar, from Saudi Arabia, and these other traitor countries who collaborated with Israel to starve the Palestinian people? You make me sick, you people, I must tell you. Thank you. Next one. Good, we had our first walkout on Cali.